we're looking at distribution of blue whales at South Georgia during industrial whaling, what industrial whaling did to those numbers of blue whales and how they're recovering after the end of industrial whaling. And by the end of industrial whaling in South Georgia, which was the mid 60s, there were very, very few blue whales left. At the height of industrial whaling, they were killing 3,000 a year in the mid 1920s. And even after whaling stopped, the populations didn't seem to recover. And surveys of blue whales and of whales in general around South Georgia in the years subsequent to the end of whaling, they just didn't find any blue whales for years and years and years. And it was held up as an example of how you can exploit a population beyond the point where it can recover. And we really didn't know if blue whales at South Georgia ever would recover. It's possible that the cultural memory of that area as a feeding area was lost because there were so few animals left that any cultural learning passed between animals over generations of animals was lost. To look at whether we could see any sign of recovery, we looked at all the different data sources that were available on whale distribution at South Georgia. So we had 30 years of data of all these different sources to see if we could see if blue whales were recovering. And this year on our survey, we saw 58 which was a great result and it compares extremely favourably with previous years where nobody's seen any at all. But it's the beginning of a recovery rather than the recovery in itself. We need to keep looking after our whales, making sure that we don't kill them, but that they've also got plenty to eat and that we're looking at the effects of climate change on whales.